everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my very merry makeup series. For the first look of December, I had to create a Frosty the Snowman look. It's very icy and glittery with a frozen over skin effect on the body and I just love it. Now, if you guys are ready, let's transform into Frosty. I'm first going to be priming my skin with a skin smoothing primer and this is just going to fill in my pores for a super smooth base. I'm also going to apply this to my neck and to my chest. Here I'm applying a liquid highlighter and this is in the shade Silver. This is going to make the skin look really metallic and icy under the foundation for that frosty skin look. I'm also applying this to my neck, my chest, and my shoulders. I'm mixing a full coverage foundation with a foundation lightener to achieve a pale skin color. Not completely white, but just pale. Then for added brightness, I'm using a white concealer. Now I'm setting that all in with a translucent powder and I'm using that on a powder puff. To fill in my brows, I'm using a dark brown brow pomade to create a thick, dark brow look, and I'm just following my natural shape. Then applying some brow gel over top. Here I'm using an eye primer just to prep the eyes for eyeshadow. I'm gonna start the eye look with a black eyeliner and I'm gonna smudge this into the waterline and also onto the lid. Dipping into a black matte eyeshadow, I'm going to create a dramatic black smoky eye. I'm bringing the shadow down pretty far under my eyes. With the metallic pearl shadow, I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corners of the eye. I'm applying a black and gold glitter shadow to the lids and I'm going to blend that out with the fluffy brush pretty messily just to get an all over glitter look on the lid. Now I'm adding in some black mascara. To bring more blue into the eye look, I'm using a shade of iridescent glitter and I'm pressing that all over the eye, above the brows, and under the eyes too. I'm gonna pop on some false lashes and I'm adding some black shadow into the eye look just to further smoke everything out because Frosty has two eyes made out of coal. So we need them to be super smoky. So now I'm gonna be using some white face powder just to pale out my skin a little bit further. For contour, I'm using a grayish blue in the hollows of the cheeks and in the temples. I'm blending that in and I'm gonna add a brighter blue over top. With an icy duochrome blue highlight, I'm going to highlight the skin just to give a really frosted look. I'm now going to spritz my face with a dewy setting mist. I'm going to add some iridescent white glitter to the cheekbones and this will give a wet shine to the skin. Then I'm tapping in a more chunky glitter under the eyes and above the brows. For the carrot nose, I'm using an orange cream stick and I'm creating a pointy blown out carrot shape on the tip of my nose and I'm gonna top that off with some iridescent glitter as well. For lips, I'm applying a metallic red liquid lipstick. And then once again, just like everything in this look, I'm topping it off with some glitter and here I'm applying red glitter. I'm applying a pink blush just to add some rosiness to the cheeks. I didn't feel the skin was glowy enough, so I'm going to be using a white loose highlighting powder all over the face, and this will give a really icy fantasy highlight to the skin. Now I'm going to lock all of that in with a long lasting setting spray. Moving to the body, I'm going to pale out my skin with a white face powder just to give a really pale complexion that matches my face. And I'm contouring my body with a light blue airbrush paint and I'm just going along the neck and bringing that down to the collarbones and shoulders. I'm using a white aqua paint and stippling with a foundation brush to create the look of snow that has gathered on the shoulder. 
then adding a chunkier white glitter over top of that. Now for the best part, I'm going to be using this ice kit for the skin. I'm applying the adhesive first to the areas I want the snow to sit. Now I'm dipping into some of the snow and I'm just going to dab that into the upper shoulder area. Once it's on, it's on and it's not going to move around until later when you remove it. I'm going to be adding a few ice crystals over top just to make it appear a bit more frozen and icy. With some dewy mist and glitter, I'm going to glitter up the chest a little bit further just using that iridescent glitter shade. And then lock it in with some setting spray. For the wig, I'm wearing a white wig and I'm just going to go ahead and style it into a really smooth look with curls at the bottom. I'm going to quickly blend out my nose because I don't want the nose to be too, too orange. So I'm just using the foundation brush to blend out the edges and then adding glitter right into the center. You want to make sure to pale out your ears to match your skin. So I'm going in with that white face powder and then adding in a touch of blue around the ear. I'm popping on my frosty hat and in some cases I do airbrush some of my costume to match the character. So I'm doing a little bit of that to the flower that will go on my hat and I just went in and safety pinned that on really nice and tightly. This is the final Frosty the Snowman look. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning into my Very Merry Makeup series. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials if you enjoyed it. Happy holidays and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.